All right, boys and girls, for social studies today, you're going to need a paper that was not in this last packet that I gave you, but a paper that was in the packet way back before that. It looks like this. You're going to be using this paper to create an advertisement today. If you can't find this one, that's okay. We'll go ahead and do some drawing in the encounter journal to kind of make it be in there anyways. But if you can find this one, that'll make it a little easier. Now, boys and girls, we've talked about communities, right? It's this group of people who live together and uh, help meet each other's needs. And you've seen videos talking about school communities and the community of your town or city and our state of Virginia and the United States of America. And you know that in communities, we help each other and we get what we need. And then we've talked also, right, about needs and wants, right? Needs are the things you have to have to stay alive. And wants are the things that would be great, but you don't have to have them to stay alive. Now, we also talked about how there's stuff kind of in between, right? Like, you don't have to have fresh fruits and vegetables to stay alive. But it's not like they're just a regular old want, right? It is something that's going to help you be healthier and have a better life. It's not like just ice cream or something. So there's needs, there's wants, and there's also in between there are, you know, kind of not all the way to you have to have it to survive needs, but you do have to have it to have a good life. So think about some of those needs and wants, and especially think about needs and wants that your community has. You could think about your family community, your school community, your town or city community, your state community of Virginia or the United States. What is something that your community might need or might want? And do you remember we talked about goods and services? Goods are the things that you can sell that people actually can touch. So maybe some pattern blocks. That's something that you could sell and somebody could actually buy, right? That's a good. But if you're talking about education, me teaching you stuff, well, that is something you can buy, but it's not a thing you could actually touch, right? You couldn't take it and go put it in a box. There's nothing that your hand can touch with that. It's a thing, but it's not a thing you could touch. It's a service. Boys and girls connected to this idea of needs and wants and goods and services. We also have producers and consumers. Producers are the ones who make the things. So there's some company somewhere that made these little foam pattern blocks the first graders are using. There's C.F. Richards Christian School that makes the education you guys are getting. So producers make stuff, consumers purchase it, you buy it. Maybe it's an actual thing you can take home and put somewhere like the pattern blocks, or maybe it's a service like education or like healthcare. Like if you need to go to the doctor, you get a service from the doctor, right? So boys and girls, you're going to think about goods and services, and you're going to choose a good or a service that your community either needs or wants, and you're going to make an advertisement for that. We have a video coming up that's going to just help review goods and services, needs and wants, and it's going to talk more about producers and consumers. make a product or provide a service for sale are called producers. The word produce means to make something. People who buy these items or pay for these services are called consumers. The word consumer comes from the verb consume, which means to use up, eat, or take something in. Producers produce and consumers consume. Here are some example producers of goods. Carpenter, chef, seamstress or dressmaker, and farmer. Here are some examples of producers of services. Dentist, car mechanic, computer repair technician, and artist. Anyone who buys a product from a producer is a consumer. What is the last item or service you bought? If you have ever bought anything, you have purchased it. You already know you are a consumer. Are you also a producer? If you've had a lemonade stand, made something for a craft fair, or made something to sell for a charity event, you are a producer. It is also important to know that there are specific terms or words used to describe the things or services that people produce. 
Goods are actual objects that producers make or grow. These goods can be seen, used, or touched. They have a specific quantity or amount to be used. Here is a farmer with 12 watermelons for sale. He produced the watermelons, which are goods. He has a certain quantity available, 12. Food, drinks, clothing, school supplies, gasoline, and hairspray are all goods. Pause the video for a couple of seconds and take a look around the room you are in. Can you list any goods that are in the room? You may have listed things like chair, computer, desk, clock, or even the clothes you are wearing. There are also services that can be purchased. Producers provide services rather than make them. Services can also be thought of as a job someone does for someone else. For example, if someone were to hire you to wash their dog, you are providing a service, dog washing. Some other services you could provide, if you are old enough and your parents approve, are grass cutting, raking leaves, shoveling snow, carrying in groceries, babysitting, pet sitting, dog walking, or even cleaning. If you've ever done any of these, you are a service provider. Let's complete a chart together. In the left-hand column, I'll provide a good or a service. Can you tell me whether it is a good or a service? How about potatoes? They are a good. Okay, so what about notebook paper? Paper is also a good. Haircut? Getting a haircut is a service. Crayons? They are good. Car wash? This is a service. How did you do? Have you designed anything to sell in your shop on our site? If not, why don't you go to the design studio that you can find at My World tab. All right, boys and girls, you're going to be the producer. What does your community need or want? Is it going to be a good or a service? We're going to make an advertisement now for your product. Whether it's a good or a service, it's still your product. Now, boys and girls, at the bottom of this paper, there's a thing that says price. Do you remember when we watched the Annie and Moby video about goods and services and Moby was trying to sell those pictures of himself? Do you remember he had to adjust his price? So don't just think that you can say, okay, I'm going to sell a good and it's going to be pretty pictures and people are going to pay $500 for it. You have to think about your consumers, what your consumers really want and what might they be able to pay for it. So keep those things in mind. Let's go ahead and work on this. All right, guys, up here, name, that's for your name. There's my name, Mrs. Pitton. Down here, name of item. Now, often I will say, if you can't write it, go ahead and draw it. But right here, you're gonna be drawing it. And remember, even if it's a service, you can draw yourself performing that service, right? You're the producer, you're gonna be the one who's doing the service. So draw a picture of yourself doing that service. So up here, I want you to do your best, even if you're not sure how to spell it, to say it slowly. Remember how we talked about stretching out the sounds? Say it slowly, stretch out those sounds, and write down as many sounds as you can get. Name of item. And remember, the item that you're selling, it can be a good or a service. So it doesn't have to be an actual thing. It doesn't have to be a marker. It doesn't have to be a toy. It can be something you might do for someone. Reasons to buy this item, boys and girls. You need to come up with at least two reasons people should buy your item. Now, kindergartners, this is where if you want to ask a grown-up or an older brother or sister from, for some help to write it, you may do that. Sara and Alex, your grown-up or older brother or sister can write it in Spanish if that's easier. Okay, se puede, se puede escribir en español. All right, so there are those. Draw it, and then down here, that tricky part, the price. Hmm, that's a hard thing for lots of people because you have to think about what it's worth to you to do it. If you worked all day long and you got one penny, would you think that's worth it? Probably not. So you got to find an interesting balance between what your consumers are willing to pay and what you as a producer 
are willing to sell the item for. So this here means dollar symbol. So if you think it's $1, you can put $1. If you think $5, put $5. If you think it should be half of a dollar, let me show you how to write that. You see the dollar? You put then a zero and a period and a 50. And real quick, I'll let you know why a dollar is made up of 100 pennies. So half of that is 50 pennies. So this period first means that we're not talking about how many dollars, we're talking about how many pennies. So that is what you'd write if you want it to be just for 50 cents. But I would guess most of you guys, you're going to want something more valuable for your product, right? It's up to you. Go ahead and think about what it's going to be. Then you can just take a picture of this page if you want to. I think this would be an awesome thing to put in your unit study book. In the end, in the social studies section, to do that, this isn't going to fit, is it? But if you're going to put it in there, I would suggest fold it in half, like so, and then just glue half of it onto the unit study book so you could open your unit study book and then open this page. Now, boys and girls, if you don't have this page, just put this into your unit study book. Put the name of the item, draw a picture of it, say why someone should buy it and say the price. So let me let me just make sure that we've got all those things. You need to have the name of it. You need to have two reasons to buy it. You need a drawing of it. All right, name, reasons, drawing, and the price. Take a picture and send me this.